Hey guys, it's episode 195. My dad and my brother just went out to go get some McDonald's. It's like 1 in the morning. So it's very awkward. Um, I was supposed to sleep, but then me and my brother got into some hectic arguments. And then my dad came home early just for us. So everything's fine now. Um, so basically, this was a short haul. I wanted to show this after my other hauls that I haven't shown yet. Because I did get a Hot Topic haul way before that. And a few weeks ago and also uh some and also some book stuff from indigo but anyways i was gonna do my art video but i've never really found the time to do it i was like i'm gonna finish coloring the pokemon first but i never found time to do it i and today i forgot to bring it to school and also i need to find my pencil crayons oh um, I found them, but I basically forgot completely and just didn't bring them to school, and so I didn't really work. And plus today I wanted to bring my sketchbook to school, so my bag was heavier than the last few days. So the last few days I was trying to save my bag because I carry, I can't carry much, so it's very heavy when it comes to having my my sketchbook or any textbooks in my bag so yeah so this is a haul from um square one i went to the mall with my friend um i broke one of the things i was gonna show it's i don't know why i bought a choker from hot topic but i don't know why they make chokers very weak this one was made out of like a nice string like ribbon material but unfortunately it's like those felt ribbon materials but unfortunately what happens is a string came loose when i was trying to fix like one of the rings came off from the connecting part and i was trying to fix it and then the string came loose so i thought i could just pull that off which usually is possible with stuffed animals unfortunately i didn't know how weak it was and then it was connected to the entire thing and then when i pulled it it completely ruined it so my friend said he'll get me a new one because i really like this one but i broke it so he said he'll get it i kind of feel bad because i wasted like ten dollars and i can't return or exchange it because i didn't find it broken i actually broke it myself so yeah kind of a waste of money i put some glue on it i might put some hot glue on it one day and try to fix it but it will be a broken one because I broke it. So yeah. So I can't show you any of this, that one. But that was supposed to be from Hot Topic. This one is from Disney Store. And this one is from Walmart. So here we have Eeyore. This is the new type of Eeyore. He was on sale. It was $6.95 is the original price. And now he was on sale for $6.00. So here he is. His eyes are a bit bigger and his expression is a bit different from the other one. So here is the older one. This one, his eyebrows are raised more and slanted so it kind of looks like he's worried. But this one kind of isn't. This one is the blue color so it's more of the original. Uh, it's more... I feel like it was the original color he was intended to be. He was supposed to be, like, bluish. I think I've seen him in some books where he was colored blue. Sometimes he's blue and sometimes he's gray, so I'm not sure which intent it was. But I'm pretty sure that was the original one and this one is the newer version. Because this one came out a long time ago and I know they did re-releases of a lot of Tsum Tsums for like different colors and expressions and I think the colors are basically for the accurate version the more accurate versions and stuff I'm not completely sure when I have seen him blue but I have seen him blue color before I think in books or maybe older series on tv or something he was also blue so yeah so here you have his hair his hair is more 
fluffy. I don't know what happened. This one is kind of flatty. And it's fuzzy. Not really. And his tail, I will say this brown part is made way bigger than this. But it's made out of felt and so is the bow. Um, under his ears, there's felt, but it's purple, and he has a light blue belly. And here we have Pluto. This is the new Pluto. I think this one is for the summer vacation one, I believe, because those came out. This one has a felt bone in his mouth, but all the details for the other things are the same, except his collar. Instead of just green, it's green with white polka dots, and you can see that it's very... Um, it's a very felty material. I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of like felt, but it's not. It's a very different fabric feel. And then you have his tail, and here's his belly. And he's super cute. I couldn't pass up on him because he was holding a bow, but I don't know. A bone but I was kind of debating because he has because I have a regular Pluto already and I have a regular Eeyore already so I normally don't like duplicates but when I saw them they were too cute and they're extremely soft and I can't help it because a lot of the new like original characters like the remakes they're extremely soft and I can't help it so yeah and here we have Pokemon cards. I won't be showing all of them right now, but I'll show them later. This was the cheapest pack. There's 20 cards and one um, foil card inside, and it was seven something dollars in Walmart. Um, I really want to get the big packs, but they're like 30 to 50 dollars, and I will say that's really expensive. Like, even my friend, he wanted one, and it was like, I don't know, and he's like, want to split, and I just don't know how I feel about splitting Pokemon card packs, because, you know, they have the giant cards, and then the giant shiny card that's special in the middle of it, and then if you've ever seen, they have two special versions of the same pokemon card and then they have like booster packs and stuff and it's very difficult for me to decide so yeah and they also made remade a pikachu pack and it had the original 90s artwork i believe i believe it's 90s i don't know when it came out but the original pikachu looks really chubby and stuff so it was really cute but i wanted it it was like 20 to $30. My goodness. Everything is so expensive now. And I have good news. Um, I applied for a job. I sent in my resume. They didn't really say they wanted an interview. I think they only wanted one question or so. But I'm not sure. But anyways, I applied for a job. I'm not going to say where right now, but... I wanted to get it because I feel like it's about time because my dad always gets me stuff and to support me it to support me is enough on his load so I think getting a job is more of for my personal wants like collecting because my dad's always like uh, can't you use your own money? And then he realizes, I don't have a job. I can't give him, like, money, money, because it's, in the end, it will be his money. But anyways, hopefully I get hired because I really want to take that burden off of my dad. I feel that he's supporting my brother. Like, my brother got a job at McDonald's, so that's really good, and... He's like 21 right now, and I'm 18, so I'm trying to get a job earlier than my brother did get a job. Uh, I think it's just because from what I've learned and what I've seen in my household, I'm probably going to need one right away, and I probably just... Because I just want to support, like... I don't want my dad to support me fully on collecting things, but supporting an education is more important. And for me, if I were to, at least I can take off a load off of his back so that way he doesn't have to worry about 
spending so much money on the things that I love to collect and the things that I enjoy. So yeah. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. These are all the things that I have gotten. Um, if my friend gets me, I hope I think he's going on the weekends to get it. And when he gets it, I will show you guys. I just can't believe I broke something the next day and I wanted to wear it and that's why I broke it. So yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye!